Claude Monet. The Luminous Life of the Impressionist Visionary. Imagine a world where every stroke of the paintbrush captures a fleeting moment in nature, where colors morph with the changing light, and the canvas becomes a living, breathing entity. Such was the magic woven by Claude Monet. This master artist didn't just paint landscapes, he breathed life into them, challenging traditional art norms and ushering in the age of Impressionism. The seaside town of Le Havre cradled the beginnings of a legend. Born in 1840, Claude Monet's formative years were shaped by the maritime rhythm of this bustling port city. Artistic whispers emerged early, young Monet wasn't sketching grand landscapes yet but was making a name for himself with caricatures. His keen observation and inherent knack to capture personalities amused and intrigued the locals. Little did they know that this boy, with charcoal in hand, would reshape the art world. Art has forever been an evolution, a reflection of changing times and thought processes. And in 1872, Monet with his rendition of A Sunrise Over Le Havre, unknowingly sowed the seeds of an artistic revolution. Derided by traditionalists, the term Impressionism was born from a critique, a jive. But Monet, along with his band of artist rebels, reclaimed it. They weren't just painting scenes, they were capturing impressions, emotions. This wasn't just a sunrise. It was an emotion, a fleeting moment captured in the dance of colors, heralding a new dawn in the world of art. As the years flowed, so did Monet's artistry. The young caricaturist from Le Havre was evolving, and Paris was his canvas. The city, with its mesmerizing play of light and shadow, its changing moods, and its vibrant urban life, became a muse. The Seine River whispered tales that Monet translated onto his canvas, the play of light on water, the transient beauty of frosty mornings, and sun-drenched afternoons. But Monet's quest for inspiration didn't keep him anchored to Paris alone. From the rugged cliffs of Normandy to the sun-soaked Mediterranean landscapes, to the misty allure of London, Monet sought to capture the very soul of these places. Every landscape was a symphony of colors, every scene a dance of light. Yet, it was Giverny, a picturesque hamlet in the Normandy region, that would claim Monet's heart and become his ultimate masterpiece. Here, he laid down roots in 1883, purchasing a property that would evolve into an artist's paradise. Under Monet's loving touch, Giverny transformed. Ponds shimmered with reflections of the sky, lilies floated in tranquil abandon, and wisterias draped themselves over a Japanese bridge. This haven became Monet's sanctuary and his muse. His paintings of the gardens are not just images, they are emotions. Through them, we feel the cool shade under the willows, the tranquility of the ponds, and the riot of colors in bloom. The Giverny years were a testament to Monet's unparalleled connection with nature. Every sunrise, every bloom, every changing season was a dialogue between the maestro and Mother Nature. The garden and its serenity became synonymous with Monet. It was here that Impressionism found its true home, and Monet, his eternal muse. Monet found solace in Giverny, where he created a living artwork, his beloved gardens. It was here that he painted some of his most iconic pieces. Yet, behind the canvases lay a man who faced personal tragedies, losing loved ones, and battling depression. Claude Monet, a name that has grown synonymous with Impressionism, holds a tapestry rich in detail and nuance. Let's unravel some threads that remain lesser known. In the latter part of his life, Monet developed cataracts, which dramatically altered his perception of colors. Many believe this condition influenced the bolder choice of colors in his later works. When he had surgery to correct this, he was reportedly horrified at the true colors of his recent paintings and even tried to change some of them. We often celebrate artists for their versatility. But Monet had a unique obsession, painting the same subject under different lighting conditions and various times of the day. His Rouen Cathedral and Water Lilies series splendidly showcase this meticulous, almost scientific approach to art. Monet had a deep appreciation for Japanese art and culture. He collected ukiyo-e prints, which are traditional Japanese woodblock prints. This influence is evident not just in his garden's famous Japanese bridge, 
but also in his adoption of their compositional techniques and unique perspectives. While landscapes remained his first love, Monet painted several intimate family moments. His first wife, Camille, and their children often found themselves immortalized on his canvas, offering a personal peek into the artist's private world. A perfectionist to the core, Monet destroyed several of his paintings. He was known to be dissatisfied if they didn't meet his high standards. It's said that he even threw some into the river in a fit of frustration. Looking into the life of Monet, we discover a realm of idiosyncrasies, inspirations, and intimate details. These hidden facets not only enrich our understanding of the man behind the masterpiece but also remind us of the intricate tapestry of experiences that influence every artist's journey. As with many visionaries, Monet's journey wasn't without its share of challenges and controversies. Though celebrated today, the path to his acclaim was paved with skepticism and struggle. In the 1870s, the Paris Salon was the epitome of art recognition in France. However, the Salon was known for its strict adherence to traditional art forms and techniques. Monet and his fellow Impressionists, with their loose brush strokes and emphasis on light and color, faced rejection and ridicule. Their work was termed unfinished and amateur. The term Impressionism itself was born out of mockery. Art critic Louis Leroy, in his review of Monet's impression, Sunrise, coined the term in a satirical manner. Little did he know, this derision would be worn as a badge of honor by a new breed of artists. Despite his growing prominence, Monet faced severe financial hardships. There were times he could barely afford art supplies. The anxiety from these challenges sometimes led him to destroy his own works in frustration. The shadow of World War I wasn't just a global tragedy, but also a personal one for Monet. He lost his younger son, Jean, in 1914. The war, coupled with his declining health and eyesight, brought about a discernible shift in his style, leading to more abstract renditions. Monet's relationship with fellow artists was complex. While he had close alliances with some like Renoir, others like Edouard Monet and he shared a more tumultuous rapport. These relationships, marred by occasional disagreements on artistic visions, painted the backdrop of the Impressionist era. The adversities faced by Monet are testament to the resilience of his spirit. Despite facing criticism, financial woes, and personal loss, he persevered, challenging conventions and redefining the boundaries of art. His legacy is not just one of beauty and innovation, but also one of indomitable determination. Monet's influence resonates even today. As the father of Impressionism, he paved the way for future artists to see the world anew. His masterpieces, scattered across the globe, remain as portals to moments where time stands still. In the tapestry of art history, Monet shines as a beacon of innovation and passion. Through adversities and critics, his brushstrokes painted a world that transcends time, making the ordinary extraordinary. Join us in the next episode of Chronicles as we dive deep into another fascinating journey. The tapestry of history is vast, and each thread has its tale. Stay with us as we unravel them, one story at a time.